In modern web design trends, simple shapes are no longer the favorite of trendsetters. Instead, the shapes have been cropped to create strange shapes. Very impressive. You may have seen instructions to create these shapes with long lines of code, using the before and after properties in CSS. Forget all that knowledge. We can completely create any shape you want with just one line of CSS. Welcome to the YouTube channel that takes your CSS skills to the next level. For example, here I have a box element. In CSS, I give it a background, set width and height to 200 pixels. Now by design, this element will need to be truncated as follows. To handle this design with CSS, first, we will need to mark the locations where this coordinate change occurs. Convert it to 2D space, with the X and Y axis ranging from 0 to 200. This value is the width and height of the box element. To determine the coordinates of the first point, we see that this point will be about 10 pixels from the x-axis, about 50 pixels from the y-axis, so its coordinates will be 1050. The second point is 90% from the x-axis and 50% from the y-axis, so its coordinates on the 2D plane are 9050. Similarly, this third point is 100% from the x-axis and 40% from the y-axis, so it will have coordinates 140. It's that simple, right? In order not to waste too much of your time. Based on this calculation, you can calculate to get the remaining coordinates. And here is the final result. Once I have the coordinates, I will use click path in CSS, which is a property in CSS that helps us to cut the element as we like. I will use the path function. The letter M will signal to the browser that we will start drawing, and the letter Z will end drawing. I will select the first point at coordinates 1050, so the second point has coordinates 9050. To create a straight line connecting these two points, I will place the letter L in the middle. Similarly, from this point to the next point at coordinates 140 will also be connected by a line. People just need to understand that if you put the letter L in the middle of two coordinate points, these two coordinate points will be connected to form a straight line. And so I will continue to connect the points together. Finally, the end point is also the starting point. At this point on the web interface, everyone has the following result. Very similar to the original design, right? The only thing that makes it not perfect is the curves in the design. If you put the letter L in between two coordinates, it will create a straight line. Then the letter A will create a curve. However, with curves, it will contain a lot more configuration parameters. First, it will need to specify the radius of the ellipse in the X and Y axis, X axis rotation and large arc flag. Let's try it now. For example, these two points, they have coordinates 9050 and 140 respectively. They are connected by a straight line. So if I replace the letter L with the letter A, it will be replaced by an ellipse. The parameters for the ellipse include a radius of 1010. The default rotation angle L and large arc flag both have a default value of zero. Don't worry about it. But for this sweep flag, I will set the value to one. Now you will see that these two points are connected by an ellipse, but this ellipse is convex. I want it to be concave. So I just changed the value of one to zero. Now that I have the parameters of A, I can just copy this parameter to use elsewhere. For example, at these two points, I will use A to connect it with an ellipse. We just need to find the coordinates of the two points, then edit it. This ellipse is concave, so I can just change the value of sweep flag from 0 to 1 to change it to a convex ellipse. And so on, I will continue to edit the remaining segments. And here is our final result. I actually used only one line of CSS to create this special shape. With this technique, you can create any special shape much more easily. And if you think this line of code is too long and I intentionally didn't wrap the line, well, look at this. When I wrapped the line, an error occurred. Currently, the clip path path function supports up to 96% of browsers worldwide. And this number is almost equal to CSS grid. If you find these shares interesting, please like and subscribe so I can accompany you, share with you more interesting knowledge about web design and programming. With my own ideas and designs, I only share what you cannot find elsewhere. I hope it will be interesting and useful to everyone. 
If you have any questions and wish for any topic to appear in the following videos, do not hesitate to leave a comment because that is also one of the ways new videos on our channel are published. Finally, thank you and see you in the next video.